based in Limerick, to be honest, but now I'm in Cork for some other work. Which city are you in? I'm in Belfast. Okay, so this is Maria and Ashling's conversation. Yay! <laughs> Come and visit my world for five minutes. Nice to meet you. You too. Nice to meet okay. you. I've got to get this out of the way. So, are you from Derry? Are you a quickly from Derry? Yeah. I hope we can meet in person sometime. That'd be really nice. Yeah. yeah. And please, you're you're more than welcome up here anytime. I thought it's very genuine to fill in like what's in my daily life. A lot of our outside work, like my teaching work or the girls teaching work, is what we use to then create or produce new work. Juggling, holding, holding space, holding people, and a sense of sometimes things being fleeting and watching it go by, and then holding on to some moments and then them just disappearing. I think in our creative process, um, it's the ins and outs and the messiness of it all. But yeah, you're freelance at the end of the day and you want to take on whatever opportunities come your way. But it just means it's, it can get exhausting, I think. And we do it when we're young. Um, we're, we're now, you know, you're, I, you know, we're in a new new phase of life where priorities have changed. And you have a very clear dual identity as a mum and as an artist. know we're like on the fringe of the continent really and then even at that we're like a tiny part of a tiny island on the fringe of a continent so sometimes I feel like we're really isolated
really hope somebody doesn't come to the door <laughs> because there's a glass door and you're thinking, they probably think I'm absolutely insane. They have no idea what I'm doing. And I shouldn't, it shouldn't really matter to me, you know, because you're in your own space, engaging with your own practice. Um, but for some reason, those little thoughts kind of jump in every so often. If you're in the studio, you're just yourself and other dancers who are respecting all those training process. So it's totally different experience, I feel. Or like I have to push them away to one side to train or yeah. so okay. yeah. That was that's why I chose this place to film it. For the past maybe months or two months, I've had a couple of couple of different jobs and which means that I haven't been dancing as much as I would like. It was great because it reminded me, it was like, oh yeah. This is the idea because I, whenever you find the moment where you're sort of in your own little world, it's really, it's brilliant. artist I have multiple identities I have loads of hats and that's great because it's a really you know I love the, the, the variety the diversity of places and people you're working with Are professionals this is our work we you know we need space we need childcare and dedicated time that it needs to be warm and dry and clean and it's you know concrete floor doesn't work and all those kind of things that we take for granted uh, I have the studio where I recorded um, which is the Pilates studio and my kitchen What makes up their income and their career as a whole? What of that is their own, their own 
creative work. A lot of that is like someone else's creative work that they're involved in. What is teaching? There's some form of condition in there where you always think you should be working towards something and you need to have something very final and it needs to be a complete sort of thing or unit to, uh, to show. If I'm working on something, it's kind of in my head all the time, um, especially if I'm walking. So in the process of movement without having to sort of devise the movement, I think that kind of gets the wheels in motion. I just love what happens when I when I can dance or when I'm involved in dance. My artistic practice like feeds me. and an ensemble sometimes you get carried along with the current or the wave and that's fine yes but I really got to know myself as an artist and what I'm like really interested in in movement For the money. <laughs> yeah, or for the fame.